have 33 minutes. Two, three. Ah. Joke's on you. So is the beer. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. So, week one is done of our trip. So, let's do a recap. Day one. Day one. What did we do? Oh, uh, let's see. We lost the trailer hitch lock. Yeah, before we even left. Kaya. Really? Yeah, that's right. Technical difficulties, a man is walking his guinea pig. A large man is walking his guinea pig through the campground. campground. Uh, Kaya. Take two. <laughs> okay. So we lost the luck for our fifth wheel hitch whilst we were still in the driveway. Yep. And it was pissing down rain. Kayla had to run all the way up to the corner store to grab another lock. And then we drove up to a place called Orthello Tunnels. RV and campground. Uh, just past right Hope. Next Hope. Yeah. yeah, we were just, we got just beyond Hope. Just beyond Hope. And uh, that was our day one campsite. And yeah, and the tunnels were amazing. Row the quit. So here we are. Just beyond hope, right Trevor? Right. Just beyond hope. Just beyond hope. Oh my god, we're now beyond hope. Beyond all hope. At the Othello Tunnel campground and RV park. <laughs> Is it them? Yeah. Mom and Dad. Mom and Dad. Hi, Mom and Dad. Here they come, entering the campground. This is our bus loop of seclusion. There is nobody else here except for us and soon to be them. We took a nine kilometer hike and when saw the Orthello tunnels, which were tunnels built for the railway through uh, the canyon right beside Hope. And two different engineers started at either end of the tunnels and somehow met in the middle. Perfectly. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, you'll be able to see a straight shot. We'll probably show a picture in the video. Okay. All my editing. Sweet. Okay. The first beer of the trip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And tired puppies. Isn't that right? Yeah. And day two. Drove up the Coquihalla through all the snow sheds, super steep grade. The truck overheated a little bit, but um, we made it. We made it to the top, and then back down the other side to Merritt. Uh, and we stayed at Claybanks RV Park right in town at Merritt, and it was lovely. So day three, we walked around Merritt that day so we explored the town. Yeah my buddy Jeff that I met in scouting came by and uh, we talked for quite a while about trucks and life and yeah we hadn't seen each other for nine years so it was pretty cool to see him. So day four we drove all the way out to Penticton. Went out on a nice boat ride on Scott Hall Lake and we weren't so sure because the dogs are brand new at it. So They've never been on a boat before, so that was new for them. But they loved it. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. If it is. Yep. Uh, and we car camped essentially, so that was the first time we went camping with the dogs too, so that was a, another first for them. Which, you know, it turned out really well. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then, so day five, we uh, went back on the boat. We actually went on Okanagan Lake uh, this time uh, with Elijah and Tony. And Elijah took us to Rattlesnake Island. Um, and then we left at just after lunchtime and I drove us back to Merritt. First time I'd driven the truck in such a long time. <laughs> she did awesome. Um, so we drove. Yeah, it's quite windy here right now. now. And I caught ya! Okay. And the camera angles changed. It's all good. Okay, so day six as we were going on about. I think 33 degrees, which is insane. And there's not much shade at the campground there we were at. next so. to no shade. Yeah, pretty hot. <laughs> <clears throat> so uh, we decided to go out and we took the dogs in the truck and we went to home hardware and we bought a fan. A big fan for the trailer. Yeah. And a bug zapper. And a bug zapper. And a bug zapper. Two great purchases. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, nice and cool and bug free. And then that brings us to day seven. So yeah, we left Mara ten forty. Ten forty, yeah, twenty to eleven. And um, yeah, we drove up to Cache Creek or Cache Creek, and we've been hanging out here all day. It's a lovely campground. It's nice and windy. Mm -hmm. It's pretty exposed. It was really hot getting up here. Really uh, hot. Very desert deserty area. The um, first time I've ever felt a hot wind in Canada. Like the yeah. breeze was hot. Yeah, the breeze is probably 30 degrees or more. That's insane. I've never yeah. felt that here. It's very, yeah, it's a very desert climate up here and really nice. Uh, you can see this is our campsite right now. Mm -hmm. You this can't see too much of it right now, but this is our campsite. Uh, we'll do a quick walk around afterwards with our uh, uh, camera and walk through our trailer because it's not too too messy right now mm -hmm. um, and yeah uh, we've been hanging out here it's got a swimming pool we've been on the swimming in the swimming pool all day and on the deck all day sun tanning a little bit as you can see I'm wearing a t-shirt right now without wearing a t-shirt right now <laughs> um, and yeah it's been awesome so that's a recap of our first week mm -hmm. week one done week one done yep. of who knows how long um for anybody that doesn't know us i'm trevor and this is kayla and yeah we're doing a trip from vancouver up to the northwest territories and then through to the yukon and then back down through the rockies and into alberta until, Until next time. time. Nice.